Welcome back, guys, to another reaction video. Got another scary video. Or well, hopefully scary. They do call it five scary ghost videos you can't unsee. Hmm? Maybe. Uh, it's from the channel Nukes Top 5. They've got a lot of videos like this. Um, so it's giving, it gives us, it gives reaction channels a lot of things to react to. Um, because when it comes to these type of videos, these are almost like the perfect thing you want to see a reactor react to because you get to see if they see the same things you might have saw when you watched the video. Like, did they see the, the thing that apparently the person that put the video together didn't see? Like, I've seen some, some of these like top 10 ghost videos or top whatever videos where like a month or two goes by and then they end up posting a video where they're like Twitter uh, user or Reddit user found something we missed do you see what they saw and it's like oh shit how did, you, how did everyone miss that the first time it, it happens um, granted I love these type of videos because I love that tingly sensation down, down your spine uh, it's just I grew up with horror movies and the paranormal movies like I just love it I love this, this shit um, you don't need to be a believer or anything it's just fun to watch sometimes it's fun just to watch how people react you're like man there's nothing there you're f like it was the wind you're freaking out not always but let's see how these ones are five scary ghost videos you can't unsee Top five ghosts caught on camera. Mirror, mirror. Oh, mirror, mirror. It's like, like growing up, I think we used to do the whole, like, well, besides Bloody Mary, like, there was also uh, from the movie Candyman. Now, some of you guys might be too young. If you're not, maybe you've seen the movie. If you haven't seen it, go watch it, okay? It was a good movie. They made like I think well they they ended up making like I think three or four. They should have stopped after the first one. The second one was passable, but the first one was was good. But yeah, you would just stand in front of like the mirror and everything like that and go Candyman, 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 and then he's supposed to appear behind you, guy covered in bees. Hmm. This next video comes from Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long, who I featured before. Xiao Long and his fellow explorer drive three hours to an abandoned and allegedly haunted house in the middle of nowhere. The house is said to be the home of an evil spirit. Xiao Long and his friend are live streaming their entire investigation. Now I should mention again that in Chinese culture it is believed that swearing and acting angry is believed to ward off evil spirits that wish to do you harm. Yeah, but um... An evil spirit is going to be scared of you when you curse at it? Okay. I don't agree. But you try that. However, at first Xiaolong's anger seems to spill over a bit onto his fellow explorer. What did you? 这个一瞅这个地方就能粘在很久了的我操操你妈个哈你看好讨厌干啥呀干啥呀干啥呀 我中生有,暗度生长,瞎逼吃吃,被闹逼的,你奶奶逼的。来,打开。嗯。操。
<laughs> that was good. That's good. Oh, I brought tear the eye. <laughs> oh, they're supposed to be scary videos, not something that's supposed to make you laugh. Oh. Also, I'm the type of guy that if you saw, if you took me to like some abandoned, haunted house or whatever, whatever, whatever it is, that's some evil spirits. I'm opening it for everything. Just because I don't know you're, you're, if you're with me and you're one that's freaked out about this stuff, it's gonna scare you even more. After an hour of exploring, the two ghost hunters really haven't encountered anything. So, they decide to try a ghost summoning game that is similar to a Ouija board, called Pin Chi. Shunemao这个是咋咋说呢?它是一个我们东北的户外太闲主播,自创的一门啊,招魂游戏。这个叫碰尺数。可能说我们这个碰尺数呢,采自于来自于说一个马来西亚的一个邪教组织。它呢,
我操你妈的！操！谁？我操你妈的窗户洞！老铁们，谁？谁？I was literally about to say, I think I saw the spoon move. And then the spoon moved. <clears throat> it's a good little tingle. Oh, that's just a spoon. That spoon's moving like crazy, too. Did you see it? Watch the reflection of the game board behind them as Xiao Long goes to check out the noise at the window. In here, well, in case you can't see it on the small screen, I'll make it big so you guys can see what I'm seeing. No. While the ghost hunters are away from the board, the spoon can be seen spinning wildly, as if being pushed by some unseen force. But wait, we haven't even gotten to the most chilling event that the ghost hunters experience in their investigation of this abandoned haunted house. So for some reason all of the mirrors in this abandoned house seem to be covered? I would say that the reason they're covered is a prior person probably saw something and they figured I'm covering up all the mirrors. <laughs> Moved or turned to face down. The explorers decide to take a good long look into one of the downturned mirrors. And it didn't go well. Yeah, they're gonna see something. <laughs> <笑>他妈老硬的，看都不说都是这样的。我告诉你啊，你们的妈了个逼的，你们要是不喜欢看，你们赶紧走，没人他妈逼你搁这里头，逼逼死死，逼逼死死，逼逼你妈了个逼，
We'll we see. psychiatric hospital in Westland, Michigan. Hospitals usually are the most haunted anyways. Michigan. He says he thought he heard footsteps on the stairs, so he started recording. That does sound like someone's either coming up the stairs or going down the stairs. Hundred percent, I just got a video unless somebody's with us. What? It sounded like somebody was coming down the stairs. So this one's a bit different, but I have to say, did you? Hear it? Charger yeah. 393. I did at least. I'm not sure if you guys did. He'll probably, he's probably going to amplify it in a second, but I definitely heard Three catches what sounds like the soft voice of a woman singing and some odd unexplained screams from somewhere in the hospital. Now, the voice is very low and there's a lot of background noise, but I'll try my best to enhance the audio. <laughs> Charger 3933. Reddit user Serpent95. I keep hitting the wrong button, but there's the end of that clip anyway. So. I says his girlfriend was walking home alone late one night when she noticed a friendly stray dog following her for several blocks. She thought it was cute, so she decided to send him a quick video. <laughs> well, you can see it on the screen right there. If you don't if you don't see it. Here, I'll make it bigger for you. That's something right there. That's the dog. This is not the dog. Later, when she reviewed the recording, she noticed this. Apparently someone the dog didn't even react to it. Or something else might have been following her home too. Now, this certainly could just be someone on the street. But if so, why are they dressed like this? Hosted by Reddit user A Major Malfunction, this video allegedly shows a shadow figure captured in the very haunted St. Augustine Lighthouse. Nice shadow smoke out for uh. Now, at first, it looks just like a normally cast shadow, but then it passes through an open doorway. So, there's not much backstory supplied here. So, real shadow apparition or just CGI? You decide. A picture paints a thousand words. In a 100-year-old house in the San Rafael Hills of Los Angeles, the current residents claim that their home is extremely haunted. John Metkowski and John Huckard say that since they moved into their house nearly 30 years ago, strange things have been happening. It all started with a bathroom door that unexplainably just kept opening on its own. Oh, hell no. If, it, if I have a door that's constantly opening up, you know, just opening up on its own, I'm probably going to replace all the hinges in the door, and if it still keeps doing it, oh shit. I'll figure it out at that point, but I'm first, I'm replacing it. <laughs> on a whim, they started taking Polaroid instant pictures down on the bathroom hallway whenever the door would open. So I, I Polaroid pictures always catch the creepy shit too. And it takes a while for them to develop, so you don't even see it at first. I shut the door again, and then when it started opening again, that's when I snapped it, and that's the picture with the scary face on it. First, I th the fuck? thought it had to be a joke, because it looks so much like the stereotypical, ooh, scary ghost. 
After several more strange incidents, including seeing what they described as quote, shadow people, they decided to invite several people over for their own informal seance. They attempted to talk to what they now believe to be a supernatural presence. They asked, are you here? And then took this picture. Bizarrely enough, a strange mist appeared in the photo, and even stranger, it seemed to answer their question. Are you here? They asked. The mist that appeared in their picture seemed... Okay, it's kind of like the if, if you decide to look, look at all the old Disney stuff that you know, you can find images in the clouds and then words in the clothing. The fact that he's amplifying or showing this as yes right here. The minute you show somebody that, that's all they're going to see. But if you didn't show that, nobody probably would have noticed that. To spell out yes. And again, like I said, Polaroid pictures are the worst for these things. Like, they're the best and the worst. The best because they always somehow fucking show... Ab uh, aberrations and I probably said that wrong so I don't care they show you ghosts um, but because of the way the flash and everything works on it it's bouncing a whole bunch of lights and everything off everything so you get weird weird objects anyways that just changed everything it's one thing to get like weird light patterns and stuff like that it's another to get like communication and they continue to get more and more of these what? I am here for... Okay, I highly doubt those words are showing up on the, on the goddamn Polaroid. Strange messages over the next 20 years. In this video from 1992, John Hucker demonstrates. We load it in. He loads his film. Okay, uh, right. Did you die in this house? Asks a question, and the response comes back. Oddly enough, in Latin. It looks like it says Corpus Delecti. Sounds like we need to get out the Latin dictionary. Corpus delicti. Corpus delicti. Huh? Which translates to evidence of a crime, such as the body of a victim. Now, at first glance, this whole thing seems very easy to fake, right? They could have messed with the film as it developed, or maybe just put something in front of the lens. But here's where things get truly bizarre. Paranormal investigators, scientists, and even representatives from film companies have come to the house with their own film and their own cameras to try to debunk the claims of paranormal pictures. All of them caught similar eerie photos. The two Johns believe that the spirit that inhabits the house might be the victim of a crime, maybe even someone buried under the house itself. At this gathering, visitors were invited to use their own film and cameras. They all ask the same question. Are you be Okay, hold on. Oh, well. I want an update on this fully with no film. Because if it only shows up on... If it, is this only showing up with film? Like, not with digital cameras or anything? Buried in this house. Two separate unrelated participants got these two photos. Dig here. But oh, it gets no. even stranger. Hell no. Remember when I said that John Huckard claims that he's seen terrifying shadow people around their home? Something that I've seen a lot and a few other people have seen are these shadow people, I guess is what you call them, because they're like shadows, but they're in the middle of the room. At the end of this night, everyone present took a group photo. And this is oh, what developed. Fuck that. <laughs> Here's your shadow. Oh, I hate Polaroid cameras. Look, look how shitty the quality of the photo is anyways. Loved. And amongst our group is another figure, but it's not a person. It's the shadow of a person, but there was nobody there. This dark figure appears right next to the house's owner, John Huckard. Even the non-believers present that night just couldn't explain it. I'm like, come on, how, how can people be falling for this? This is a simple parlor trick. It's gotta be explainable. And, you know, I, I don't have an explanation for this. I didn't freak out. I think I just finally didn't have something to say or some way to, to uh, discount it. So, do these two men actually live in a very haunted house? Or is it all just a very elaborate hoax? One involving multiple witnesses. Either way, 
the two Johns certainly seem convinced. I'm not scared. I'm just in denial. <laughs> Blinders. That's hilarious. It's like driving the freeway. It's terrifying, but you know, just keep going. Sight unseen. Yeah, I can't explain that one. I just, is it, I, I, it only shows up with Polaroid. Nuke's top five viewer Zeus Lomibal from the Philippines says that he and his co-workers were working overnight at the local mall, decorating the interior for an event the next day. The mall is said to be haunted. So Zeus says he took every opportunity to film the dark empty halls, wondering if he might possibly catch some supernatural activity on camera. Well, he did. <laughs> Immediately after he starts recording, Zeus captures some strange, unexplained noise that almost sounds like. Okay, yeah, because the bottom of the screen said slamming door or whatever. I heard, like, something else that wasn't a door. That was like a yak or something at the beginning. An inhuman hiss. Zeus said that he only heard the bizarre sound when watching his video back later. <laughs> Now, that was pretty much it. At least that's what Zeus said when he sent me this clip. But <laughs> the other thing, you only think you're gonna see one thing. You need other people to hear it or visualize something and they'll find something else. What else did you find? As I watched the rest of this video, I noticed something else. Zeus had caught something on camera that was even creepier. As the video continues, one of the guys claims he hears a door slamming somewhere in the mall. <laughs> <laughs> the guys seem to be lightheartedly trying to put a scare into their female friend. But as they approach the end of the hall, and just before Zeus stops filming, he captures this. Why is it blurry? Why is it fucking blurry? Wait, is that somebody walking out to the front? That's very close. They would see that. Did you see it? Some. Yeah, like, how did. Were they not looking when they were walking straight? Like, you see something there walk left, right, and they're getting closer and closer so you would see it. Some shadowy figure seems to be watching them from afar. So I emailed Zeus back and asked if there was anyone else in the building with them that night. Zeus was shocked. He said he hadn't even noticed the figure until I pointed it out. And no, there wasn't supposed to be anyone else in the building. Zeus says he has no idea who or what this figure might be. Privacy, please. Nuke's top five viewer, Reese Hogan, says that he and a coworker were changing the light bulbs in the restroom at his workplace when suddenly one of the toilets started flushing all on its own. That happens. Just don't explain what's the way the pipes work. I don't know. It's, I've, it's happened at numerous places. He pulled out his phone and recorded something very strange. Unless they're saying it flushes on its own, like someone's actually like flushing it, not just the water running. In which case, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> oh my! Okay, it's the I was flushing the handle. <laughs> That's a weird spot for a handle. Like they build the toilet into the wall. <laughs> What's going on? I'm not happy about it. I'm have you put in screws? Yes, it's all in. Let's just go. We're not going. I just want to get it on camera again. 
Oh, I ain't hanging about here and there. You can hang about if you want. I'm going. Look, it's moved. Oh. Right, okay. Oh, what was that? No! Don't turn the lights off. I've made numerous friends jump just just from random shit. You turn the lights off on, well, they get freaked out. That Quick! That handle is moving up by itself. Yeah, it's going I'm down. I'm not even kidding. Not even joking. Look! Look, that's moving! No. Reese says that at first he thought someone was just playing a joke on him, maybe moving the handle from a crawl space behind the wall. But there is no crawl space, so there's no. Well, there has to be a crawl space to for the mechanism for that's where that's hooked up. So no way someone could move the handle from behind this wall. But what do you think? Is it a ghost in need of some privacy? Or just a very strange plumbing problem? You decide. Thanks so much for watching. You can submit or suggest videos for the top five at Nukestop. Yep, so. I don't think there's anything else really in these videos, just end credits. Um, yeah, that was Nukes Top 5. Uh, five scary. Uh, ghost videos you can't unsee. Any of them really scary? I guess it depends on what you, what your scare level is at. You know how easily scared you are. Um, fainting the, the the two Chinese guys at the beginning was more comedy when the one guy farted. Um, the spoon spinning can't figure that one out seeing that old lady in the mirror it was just too clear like that part of me feels like that was definitely not real unless like that's direct from the live stream like there's no editing afterwards that's direct from the live stream then no oh shit then they either they know how to fake it pretty easily pretty quick um uh, and make it look real um The other things, I probably be, I'd be like the skeptic guys in the with the Polaroid one where it's like, I, how I don't I don't have an answer to figure out why it's happening, but at the same time, I would still be a skeptic and I I'd be chill, still trying to figure out how it's even possible. Like, there's no way. Why is it only Polaroids? And not only that, the photos where it says dig here, dig here, did they ever actually check? Um, need a follow up on that one, that's for sure. Um, the, the, the ghost figure in the mall, I, I don't know why the video quality all of a sudden went blurry on that part, that part. Um, because like the clip they showed a second like before that was pretty clear. But that one was like, it also went blurry. That was weird. Um, yeah. It was good. It's a good little thing. Gave me, there was a few times where I got a few little chills, but not that scary. Um, maybe the next one will get me. Let me know if you guys got scared from any of them. All right. So yeah, that was, again, that was uh, Nuke's Top 5. Five scary ghost videos you can't unsee. That was my reaction to it. I'm out.